Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take a look at the geology of Mercury. Again, it's not a very exciting topic when we think of uh, Mercury because there's not a lot going on there. It's been a dead planet for a very long time. However, there's a few things worthy of note. So let's take a look. First of all, we found things such as structures that are called vents and hollows. Those are usually caused by the collapse of magma chambers. So since there hasn't been much volcanism in later years, those are things that probably happened again a very long time ago, and we still see the remnants of that because there hasn't been a lot of changes besides the impacts of the, of the meteorites. We do find scarps all across the planet, and those are caused by either uplifting or by contraction. Contraction means that as a planet cools, the density tends to increase and the volume tends to decrease so you'll see contraction where in some places it contracts a little bit more than others that forms the scarps or sometimes we have what we call uplifting because of volcanic activity we also find what we call compression folds and those kind of crisscross across the surface of the planet again those are typically called by the contractions the planet cools we do find high ratios of magnesium to silicon and low ratios of aluminum to silicon and calcium to silicon. So that's kind of different that we see on the moon and on the earth. We see not a lot of feldspar compared to what we see on the moon. And feldspar contains calcium, sodium, and potassium. So those are in existence in lower quantities on mercury. Keep in mind that alum um, aluminosilicates make up a large percentage on the earth and so we see a disparate in the amount of feldspar that we see on the earth versus the amount of feldspar that we see on mercury what we do see a lot of on mercury is sulfur about 20 times as much in abundance compared to the earth so you see there are some definite differences between what we found on the surface of mercury and what we find on the surface of the moon and the earth now, of course, we've only flown by the planet with two spacecraft, one the Mariner 10 and the other one the Messenger. So we probably need to explore those, the planet a little bit more to get a little bit more data. But at least from what we found so far, there are some definite notable differences there. Also, we found that the minerals that we find on the, on the surface of the planet appear to have formed in what we call reducing conditions. Reducing conditions is the opposite of oxidation. Oxidation is what we find on the surface of Mars, where there's a lot of iron rust on the surface because of the oxidation process. Well, in this case, in Mercury, it's the opposite. Whenever we see reducing conditions, that means instead of taking electrons away, we add electrons to the compounds, and that's so we see a different kind of process. Those are what we see on the surface of Mercury. Not unusual, not spectacular, but different than what we've seen on the Moon and on the Earth, and perhaps on Mars as well. So those are some of the things that set Mercury apart, again, from the, from the rest of the solar system.